but Vail Unified School District could soon be seeing a new high school in the area in the next few years. It would require a bond election, which means raising property taxes. As News 4 Tucson Zach Briggs tells us tonight, phase one of that construction project would cost voters $50 million. A BUSD planning group decided last week it's time to keep up with the significant growth of the Vail community. Their recommendation to the governing board, construct a new high school. And we are growing at a rate of about 150 new high school students per year. Uh, and at that rate, uh, we are going to be out of high school space uh, between two and three years from now. The planning committee, made up of parents, staff, and community members, also discussed other options. One of them involved Andrada Polytechnic High. Expanding Andrada will only bring us about 800 more spaces for students, but a new school, a new high school, will bring us at least the option of about 2,000 total. The idea of increased property taxes, of course, doesn't appeal to everyone, but the idea of enhancing the educational experience and avoiding severe overcapacity issues does resonate with some parents. Raising property taxes doesn't sound great, but then when you think about it, it's for our kids and them getting a better education. I just don't see how we wouldn't want to welcome or provide those opportunities to our children. Associate Superintendent John Carruth pointed out the state legislature has approved $22 million toward a new high school. As for the remaining funds, well, that's up to the voters. We need to be very fiscally responsible and listen to our community about what are those essential pieces that are necessary in a high school space. At the same time, an investment in a high school is an investment in this community uh, and the future of this community.